What a fan. Let's work on this range hood. Windflow range hood. Got it on Amazon. This is the bracket. Some hardware. There's some other stuff that I'll start un unboxing right now. And uh, I'll need power. So let's go check out where we're gonna install this. I got this up right here. I have power running. And I'm gonna pull out the range so give us some room to work. All right, let's check it out. I think I got inventory. So we got our unit deal, the range hood. This is the mount that's going to get on the ceiling. You're going to mount this to the ceiling. You have four brackets, one for each corner. These are going to attach to this bracket here. In each corner. These, these brackets here, these holes, or for your the hood, the chimney, or whatever you want to call this unit, on each end. So these are going to be on the side. You have these brackets here, they're going to attach to each corner. How are we going to attach these to these? I don't know yet. Here's the hardware. Four long screws for the mount. Screwdriver. Gloves. It's sheet metal, so it's there's some sharp stuff, so I like to use gloves. Um, just Phillips. I just grabbed Phillips. And your... Uh, duct work now hmm uh, let me show you let me show you I for some reason thought I was gonna magically be able to put this here but there's actually duct work here's a T it goes this way and that way. So that fiberglass is for the ductwork for the AC unit. So I'm gonna this this system has a recirculating carbon fiber or uh, some sort of filtration system that I'm sure doesn't work too well, but that's what we're gonna have to do. I have to set up my electrical box here. And I previ prior to um, when we were doing the renovation, I added these pieces of wood that I attached them to beams that were going across. So those are going to hold, those two by fours are going to hold the mount and the entire unit. All right, let's take a look. What else do we have? I think that's it for now. This unit and this one, they slip. This one, this one goes in here. So you'll be able to work through the mounting and screwing and stuff and I'll show you that. But I took them apart just to show you. And this white stuff is a protective film for the finish. All right, let me get that electrical done. Let me get this mounted and uh, we'll come back. So, and then we'll also take note on measurements. All right. All right, check it out. Since you may or may not be doing electrical, I'm gonna give you the skinny on it. If you need to run 
another line or something. So if there's an outlet close by, you can open up that box and it'll look just like this and you'll have wire coming through here. And you need one of these. There's some some sort of system that's gonna clamp the conductor, the wire, so it doesn't pull off part of the code. And you can uh, either connect it from that one outlet and run the new cable to this location. And once it's in here, you see these are gold. That's your hot. It's usually black. And you can test it with one of these. When you touch a, a live wire or it'll beep on you. Just like that. The other side is silver, or I try to remember it as white, because that's where your neutral is going to go. So white, silver, neutral, gold, black, wire, your live one goes there. And then your ground, or earth. And then for me, I bought one of these dudes. Then I put that there and then I'm gonna cap it. And you'll see it installed here in a minute. Okay, here we go. So, per instructions, these holes are to screw to that top bracket that's mounted on your ceiling. Once you have that mounted, you put a couple screws. You measure to get the height that you want. Your appliance to sit in. And then you mount this there. And once you and then you tighten those. Then you bring this guy in, the appliance, you screw two, maybe one. I did it with two earlier. Maybe you can just do one on each corner. Have somebody help you. You hang it, you tighten it, and then you do the top one on each corner. Now in my situation, the ceiling is low because of the ductwork. So I'm going to use just this one. And what I'll have to do is these holes do not line up to just mount them on the top, on the mount. So I am just going to clamp this together, get a drill, and drill new holes. So then I'm gonna have, I believe this is like 14 inches, give or take, plus, and that, uh, oh, damn it. it's not gonna work. I need to be at about, 17 inches from the ceiling so I may have to I'll do this do that measure from the bottom to the top 17 inches and then that's where I'll drill my holes and then I'll be able to mount and then I'll cut this off with the grinder. So I'll show you a picture of my markings. All right. All right, check it out. Here's the bracket. I made new holes. Pretty much grab this one. Put this one here where I wanted it. 
tap some holes or mark them and then drill them. And with these, I also cut some of it off. And I have my correct size bracket. So let's mount these. And um, hopefully this thing works. <laughs> All right, check it out. We got it mounted. So here's the bracket that I cut. Screw them on first. Uh, four on each corner then I halfway screwed this one this one and the two on the back and then mounted it I had my wife help me get them aligned set them down and then tighten them and then actually loosened them a little bit and leveled it and then tightened them back in and then I added the rest. So as you see, they don't all line up there because I have to level it. Whether it's because of the bracket, my holes, I don't know. So I'll just probably put a self-tapping screw here or something. So now that hood <laughs> is too long. And what I did is with the grinder, I cut it to size. I measured from right here to right here where the hole is at. And then, uh, and then I, and then I measured from the hole to the bottom and cut that out. I did it with the grinder. I haven't taken off the protective shield. I know I it ran off on me, so we'll see what the damage is. Um, I did connect it, and it is working. I have to still read the instructions and see how I'm gonna convert it to a um, a recirculating. Yours is gonna vary, so sure you're not gonna have an electrical outlet right there because you might have the actual ductwork that goes up to out and through the roof. Um, I just placed that there because it was just convenient for me. I didn't have to do any, anything else. Where will yours connect? Um, not too sure. I suppose you can have an electrical box hanging somewhere. Uh, maybe mount it to here. Um, as long as all the electrical is in the box, in a box, you're good. Um, all right, I'm gonna put the cover back on and then um, and we'll get back to you. All right, check out the mess I'm in. With the other system, you have two, two of these hoods and you can raise and lower the top one to get them in. <laughs> in my case, since I custom cut it, I actually had to unscrew this glass part. And it's pretty simple. You open this hood, this, and then there's screws all around, and I dropped it. Now these fit, because I, I there's not enough room to to just mount them since there's this goes down so I got this one in and I'm gonna get the one back now all right here we go got this installed I mean overall it's kind of a pain in the ass because I had to modify it to fit if you're gonna if it's gonna be shorter than the length of this deal without cutting it you're gonna have, you're probably gonna have to take out the grinder um otherwise it was pretty cool like it i still didn't figure out it didn't come with carbon filters like the manual says
Those are little flaps opening up. I don't know if it's gonna do that all the time. But with the carbon filters, it's supposed to block those. <clears throat> that hatch that opens up and um, just recirculates the air. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll give it a shot. Cool, thanks for watching. So at the end of the day, I had a grinder, screwdrivers, drill, guns, um, a level, some ladders. And um, yeah, you probably need two people when you get this down, because I did on my own. I used the ladder and that recycle bin to hold it up. And I had to do some acrobatics just to do that. <clears throat> um, otherwise, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, the protective film. Before you install it all, I would take it, take that seam off, peel that off, peel the bottom off, and then out past this these screw holes. So then you can hold it, the body, and maneuver it in, and and take it all, peel it all off on the bottom, not completely out, just up and then once you have it all installed then it'll be easy for it to come out because right now I still have to go in and take some of it off on the bottom rim um what else can I suggest <laughs> my uh you see right there there's still some of that plastic uh, and then I gotta clean it my grinder marks didn't really come out so I kind of got lucky on that. Alright, later.